Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete a SQL database in Azure. I have logged into the Azure portal. So we are going to create the SQL database. So click SQL databases. Click create SQL database. So first we need to create a resource group. So we don't have a resource group. So I'm going to give the name as SQL group. Then we need to give a database name. So I'm going to give the name as sample DB. And we need to select a server. We don't have any server. So let's create a new server. So the, for the server, we need to give a unique name. So let's give a unique name. So the location, we will leave it as East US itself. So we will authentication method we will select as use sql authentication so let me give the admin login as well as the password click OK so we will select the local redundant backup storage so now this is going to be the cost click next so we wanted to access it from our system so let's give a select the public endpoint and click add current client IP address as yes so that it will get the client IP address of this system and from this system we will be able to access the database okay click next so we'll leave everything as default click next leave them as default click next if you want to add any tag you can add I'm not going to add any tag now click review plus create so this is going to cost me 1156.05 INR every month. Click create. The deployment is in progress. As part of this, it's going to create an SQL server as well as it's going to create the SQL database. The deployment is complete now. Click go to resource. So we can see the server URL. Let's copy it. We will try to manage this db from the azure data studio i have installed azure data studio in my system click new let's create a new connection to this particular server give the server name username click connect now we have successfully connected to the SQL server and we could see there are two databases there. This is the DB which we have created. Let's create one simple table in that DB. We are going to create a SQL table. So it gives the complex syntax on what is needed. Right. So it says let's give the table name as employee. So if the table exists, it's going to drop it and then it is going to create the table. Okay, now click run. The table has been successfully created. So let's go and validate that here under the tables refresh yeah we could see the new table disconnect because we are going to delete it disconnect or even let's delete the connection as well now let us delete the database as well as the SQL server which we created click delete click yes delete 
it has successfully deleted the DB. Now it is deleting the SQL server. So we could see that both SQL server and the sample DB database which we created have been deleted. In this demo, we have seen how to create and delete a SQL database. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.